Well, a massive manhunt in Montgomery County leads to an even bigger backup on Interstate 270 and terrifying moments for drivers who were stuck in that backup. Officers went car to car, guns drawn, looking for men who robbed a bank. And tonight there are real questions about that response. Tom Rousey live near the interstate. So, Tom, I hear they just released the names of the men arrested here. We got an email from Montgomery County Police, Allison, and I can tell you their names are Earl Kenny of Capitol Heights, Rico Ford of Forestville, and Michael Hurd of D.C. They were arrested after a wild scene here on 270. I was scared for my safety and my life. Rotimi Abimbola was at the front of the line when police shut down 270 in Bethesda this morning. They were facing in our direction, so I definitely knew that whatever or whoever they were looking for was behind me. Police were searching for men suspected of holding up a Rockville Wells Fargo at gunpoint. They say they had strong reason to think the men were on 270. After shutting it down, they did a car to car search until spotting a handgun in one car. The suspects were then taken into custody. Carlton Higdon was in this gold Acura right near where the suspects were found. I was just happy that, you know, everything went down the way it went down because it probably could have been a lot worse. Some have questioned if police were endangering the public, while others feel this was the right move. Forensic psychiatrist Lise Van Susteren. They have to really, from their experience and their gut, act very quickly. And in this case, it was to tighten the noose the way they could, which was to stop traffic and make sure that they could potentially trap these guys. Van Susteren says police had to consider the risk of getting into a shootout with the suspects with innocent people all around, but they also had to consider the risk of future violence if the men got away. Oftentimes what you see with criminals is that they become more and more audacious, bolder with each a robbery. So I think that they did what they could um, given the information that they had in the amount of time. Montgomery County Police spokesperson says police didn't have a lot of time to make the decision and they went with what they really thought was best. He points out in the end those suspects were taken into custody here without any incident and without anybody getting hurt. Live in Potomac, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News.